have you had trouble with your quail birds, your baby birds dying and you don't really know what's happening? Uh, stick around, we're gonna show you a couple of tips that may help you keep your birds alive. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Big E back with you. Wanting to show you uh, some tips that we've been told to keep these baby quails alive. So we've had an issue the past about week or so, past two or three days, and uh, the birds were just dying, falling left and right. So we uh, went to looking on the internet, trying to find out what could be the issue. Uh, so come to find out our feed, now, I don't know which one fixed it, but both of them together have fixed our birds from dying. So I'm gonna show you what I've done and maybe it'll help you. So first off, I'm gonna talk about the feed. So this feed here, as you can see, has some bigger like pellets. Now this is the 30% game bird feed that you can get from tractor supply. As you can see, them bigger pieces. That ain't these birds ain't gonna be able to eat that. So we got a little food processor here and started chopping it down a little finer than what it was. And so far, we haven't lost another bird. We lost one bird since we started this, but it was the same night that I started doing this. So I'm wondering if that could have been an issue. They could have done had food in their crop and not been able to digest it. Another thing, electrolytes. You can get this at your tractor supply, probably on Amazon. If I find it on Amazon, I'll put the link below. Uh, but electrolytes for these birds, this is gonna help them get hydrated more and be able to digest all this food. Uh, provides hydration and essential nutrients, it says on the package. Between this and this, we've saved some of our birds. Uh, we lost about 10 within a two days time. And I'm almost positive it was this feed issue. We're gonna grind some of this up, show you how fine we can get it down uh, just with just a few minutes of grinding this. So we're gonna grind this real quick and get back to you. So like I've said, this is with my quail. Uh, with the other chicks and regular chickens, baby chicks, I've never had to grind food down for them. Uh, they seem to digest it pretty easily. But as you can tell, we've got it kind of a powdery substance look. And it's chopped down quite a bit more than what it was to begin with. Uh, these birds can eat this a little easier and allow them to digest it a little easier too. So we're going to get this poured in here and show you how these birds out are today. They should be about five or six days old and show you how big they are in this week. So this is the birds with a week's time of them growing. They've already gotten so big compared to what they are when they're babies. You can hear how big it's got. I'll show you a short little clip up in the corner here uh, how big they were just a week ago. Uh, but I got the food ground down. I've got them some electrical light water in here. And I'm going to close it down, let them heat back up, and let them grow. So with just these two things, it has helped us save our birds. Uh, it may not work for everybody. You may have something else going on. But for me, it's helped me out. Uh, also, don't forget to put your rocks down in these water bowls. Because these birds ain't really smart when they're first born. They will drown themselves. I say that on about every video, but I really mean it. Uh, these birds ain't smart at all. Put the rocks in there or they will drown themselves. If these tips help you out, uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'd like to know whether it helped you too. Uh, so leave me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.